and welcome to today's episode of the Matched Betting Chronicles. And today I want to talk to you about underlaying your bets um, to get yourself out of some trouble. So for anybody who does two ups, you'll know that sometimes you can get burnt in between backing and laying. And this can happen whether you are backing or laying first. So let's say we're on the hunt for some two ups. So we're on the matcher now and we're looking at all the different games. And here we are, Man United versus Aston Villa. And we could back Aston Villa here. This is a decent match because the back odds are 5.5 and the lay odds are 5.8. So that's not too wide. That's that's decent. So let's open that up. And it's changed it to 6.6, .6, but that's only because there's not enough liability, well, liquidity at 5.8. But the lay price is still 5.8, I know it is. So let's change that back. And you can see that if you wanted to back Aston Villa, you'd have to take a qualifying loss of £5.18 on a £100 stake. Um, and that and that's not that's not too bad considering the size of the stake and these odds. That's a decent match. So the first thing we should do here is check on the exchange that the price is still five point eight. And assuming it is, we head over to Bet three sixty five and we put a hundred pound on Aston Villa at odds of five point five. But we head over to the exchange and hold on what's going on somebody has taken all the liquidity at 5.8 and you now find the price is six so to lay villa you've got to do it at odds of six which means the qualifying loss has changed to eight pound 35 so what most people would do here is that They'd, they wouldn't take that. They might queue at 5.8. So they're still hoping to get the original qualifying loss. Um, but they put their queue in and it still continues to move the wrong way. And, and let's say, for example, the lay price goes to now 6.2 and it doesn't look like reducing. So now you've got to take a qualifying loss of 11 pound 29. However, if we head to advanced mode on this calculator, you can see we've got the option of underlaying this bet. So, what we can do is we can put £1.18 less on the exchange. So, basically, it's this figure here. We can lay this bet for £86.53 instead of laying for £88.71. Basically, this means that if we win at exchange, we're going to have an even bigger qualifying loss, which will be this figure here, £13.47 instead of £11.29. But because we have laid less, the liability on the exchange is less and we're going to lose less on exchange if the bet wins at the bookies so if we if we do this normally if we if we lay 88 pound 71 we're going to lose 461 pound 29 on the exchange right that's that's if that's if that's if um villa win yeah but if we underlay, we're only losing £449 on the exchange if Aston Villa win, which is the same figure that we win at Bet365. So basically, we're going to lose zero if Aston Villa win. If you win at the bookies when you underlay, you, you lose zero. So... Basically, it's only going to cost an extra £1.18 to try and lose nothing. So for me, 
eleven pound twenty nine. That's that's already way too high. So I don't mind risking another pa- another one pound eighteen pence on top of that for a shot at losing nothing, basically. And you, you'd be surprised about how how often these underlaid bets come in. Sometimes I've been staring at ridiculous qualifying losses on unmatched two up bets and you know I've got out of making some big losses thanks to thanks to underlaying and there's there's one match that I'm always going to remember and that was played a few months ago in October this year and it was Aston Villa versus Wolves now I can't remember how exactly but I've got myself into a right mess here. So I'll show you what I did. I backed I backed Wolves for with a £200 stake at Bet365 at odds of 3.5. And at the time, if I recall rightly, I think the lay odds were 3.7. So that would mean a qualifying loss of £10. 81 and I really didn't want to take that and I thought for some reason I'd soon be able to get odds of 3.6 on exchange so if I could that qualifying loss would only be £5.56 however that that didn't happen it never matched at 3.6 and the odds carried on drifting until they were Uh, 4.2 can you believe it so I continually thought this can't get any worse but it did so the qualifying loss is now for me 33 pound 34 that's that's ridiculous and in this situation I know some people who would just punt it from here or be thinking that Wolves could score first and then they're going to lay Wolves when the odds have dropped. And to be honest, I've been in this situation before as well when I just started doing two-ups and I've been too stubborn to just accept I got it wrong. And instead of just accepting the loss and laying the bet, you start thinking, how can I get out of this? And crazy stuff like maybe I can lay once Wolves make a good start, you know. But if you do that, that's just gambling and that's not really what we should be doing as, you know, we know nobody wins long term doing that. So anyway, it it can easily happen to you when you when you're when you're new and you're just starting out. And I can see why some guys attempted to punt, because if you've been working hard at match betting for the day and you've made 40 quid profit, you don't just want to lose that in one qualifying loss that should have just cost you a fiver, you know? And fortunately, I've learned my lessons a long time ago, so I wasn't tempted to punt this one. And what I did was to to underlay this bet. So we need to go to advanced mode for that. And um, you can see what I did is Instead of laying £166.67 on the exchange, I laid about £10 less, £156.25 I laid. Um, The problem is that that gives me a loss of £43.75 if Wolves did not win. But, of course, if Wolves do win... I'm going to lose zero. Now, that's that's a huge loss. And you may be thinking, why even risk another tenner? But at this point, you know, the qualifying loss of £33.34, it's already outrageous. And I needed some hope that I could get out of this without doing anything silly like gambling. And there's some other methods I've tried and I've got away with by the skin of my teeth. And I might do a video on them later. They seemed a good idea at the time, but never again. This this underlaying is the solution. So 
when it goes wrong like this, just underlay the bet and move on and forget about it. If you are lucky, your team will win, and from this horrible situation, you can still come out with a zero loss. And that's exactly what happened in this game, unbelievably. Um, I'll show you what happened. Aston Villa were leading 2-0. And by the 80th minute, it was still 2-0. And then Wolves got free in the, in the last 10 minutes. Amazing. So they saved me 40 quid in the process. And I've had a soft spot for Wolves ever since. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. It's a shame I didn't back Aston Villa, right? Because they've they've gone 2-0 up. If I did that with Bet365 or Paddy Power, that's a 2-up and they'd have already paid out and then and then Wolves have come back to to win this a full turnaround. And a lot of people would have uh, given up kind of lost hope, you know, it's like 80 minutes, still still not a Wolves goal. And then, but, you know, once once they got the first one, there's always a chance of another one. You know, there's a lot of game. There's a lot of games I've seen that have goals like this, 90 minutes plus five, you know, in the, in the dying minutes of the game. There's a lot of goals. So, anyway... Let me know if you've been in a similar situation and you've underlaid to get out of it. Thanks for listening to this. And if you got any value out of this vid, please like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Take care.